Hi and welcome to John's Maths Book. In this video we're going to be using integration to prove that the volume of a cone is pi r squared h divided by 3. If you like the video then please hit the like button and I'd be delighted and honoured if you'd subscribe to the channel. Without further ado let's go over to the whiteboard. On the left hand side of the board I've drawn a cone. The height of the cone is h on the x-axis and if we start at x equals h and work towards x equals zero, we can think of this cone as a series of ever decreasing circles about this line here. The largest of the circles or the base of the cone has a radius of r. To find the radius of all other circles within the cone, we need to find the equation of this line. So to help explain this, I've drawn this line on a separate graph. On the graph, I've indicated point h on the x-axis and point r on the y-axis. h is the height of the cone and r is the radius of the circle at the base of the cone. So the equation of this line is given by y is equal to mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is a constant. So the gradient m is given by the rise divided by the run. So the rise in this case is r and the run is h. So rise divided by run is r divided by h. So the equation of this line is y is equal to rx divided by h plus c, which is 0. So y is equal to rx divided by h. So at any point on the x-axis within the cone, we can find the radius of any of the circles. Let's test this out by finding the radius at the base of the cone. So we know the equation of the line is y equals r over h multiplied by x. And at the base of the cone, we know that the x value is h. So y is equal to r divided by h multiplied by h. So the radius at the base of the cone, which we know is r. So we know that this now works and is true. So now if we add up the areas of all these circles from x equals 0 to x equals h, we'll get the volume of the cone. So the area of any one of these circles, as we know, is area is equal to pi r squared. So now if we sum the area of all these circles, we can integrate from x equals 0 to x equals h. So we're integrating in this direction, and we integrate pi multiplied by now the radius of any one of these circles as we've already seen is r divided by h x squared and as we're integrating in the x direction so each infinitesimal circle we need dx if we now take all the constants outside of the integral this becomes pi r squared over h squared into the integral from 0 to h of x squared dx if we now integrate this using the power rule, we get the volume of our cone is equal to pi r squared over h squared multiplied into x cubed over 3 from 0 to h. And that equals pi r squared over h squared multiplied by h cubed over 3 minus 0. And that is pi r squared h over 3. So that proves that the volume of our cone is pi r squared h over 3. 